This one brought to you by Ma Motors, Singapore's leading premium motorcycle distributor. Three rounds of action. Go! One Super Series kickboxing bout. The Southpaw stance as always on Yon. Will Gimby get airborne? Nice jab, and there's the first cracking roundhouse kick from Yodson Clark. He'll try and break down the forearms of Gimby. And there it is again, double forearm guard from Gimby and the power right hand of Yodson Clark. Gimby backs him up with a right hand of his own. There's a knee from the African. Knee guard put on by Gimby and Onari breaks them. High kick from Gimby. Yodson Clark and Gimby, first time ever with four rounds gloves. Both men miss with the hooking punches. They tie up now in tango. Wow, Michael, those four ounce gloves are completely game changers, man. Look at these shots, Michael. Oh, the uppercut almost put the chin through the top of the head. There's the knee from Yodson Clark. Now, under these kickboxing rules, you can throw the knees. If you do so, they've got to be continuous. Good right hand down the center there from Gimby. Judges cage side, they are scoring on a 10 point must system, which means the winner of the round gets 10 points, the round's loser gets nine points. A knockdown means a 10 8 round. Tries to sweep out the support leg there, did Gimby. Jab, hook, double hook from Yodson Clive Fairtax. Both men bring the power early here. No elbows allowed under the kickboxing rules. A rule set that Yodson Clive not so much used to. I'm just going to be careful of opening up the fists here and flicking those fingers into the eyes with these four-ounce gloves. You can just hear the shots of Yod reverberating on the body of Gimby. And another one sends Gimby back three paces. There's the left hand, the big boom shakalaka. And again, Gimby does a quick count of his teeth. Yod with the lead hook. Yod getting into boxing range now. There's the kick to the forearm. There's the punches, four, five punches. Uppercut went so high, I heard organs playing. Another hook from Yodson Clark, roundhouse kick. Jimmy Jimmy throws a wild hooking punch, Mitch. He can't stand in the pocket like this, he's got to circle out. Jimmy caught Yod with a beautiful left hand, and Yod on his back, double left roundhouse kick to the waist, to the ribs. And again from Yodson Clark, a little higher. In the, first round. the boxing computer, the hero. Putting on a power display. And a good dunk there from Yodson Clay Fairtex. Go! Just a dump, not a knockdown. Referee wipes off the gloves. That's to make sure there's no resin from the canvas on the gloves of the combatant who went down. Good lunging right hand from Gimby. He's trying for the power. Salvos goes for a high knee. The meet and greet to no avail. Final seconds of what's been a fireworks opening round. Mitch, the power of Johnson by Fairtex is absolutely tremendous. These are huge shots that Yod is landing. Look at that big straight left hand just standing in the center. These two are going toe to toe in a phone booth, throwing big shots. A lot of these are missing right here. They're doing a lot of damage, but you can see just a little bit of the welts coming on Gimby. Brandon Vera, you're a leg kick specialist. You're a roundhouse kick specialist. How good is this stuff we're seeing from Yudson Clark? These kicks are, some of them are making no sound. You can just see the impact happening. If Gimby's gonna wanna stay in this fight, he's gonna have to start circling to his left and stay away from that power kick of Veritex. It's amazing and hard. Ooh, we. Seconds out, please. The boxing computer, the hero, Yodson Clay Veritex, ready for the second round in front of a sellout Seconds crowd. Out. Inside the massive Singapore Indoor Stadium. It's a one Super Series kickboxing bout. I don't know if you guys can see this at home, but some of the welts on Gimby's right arm are starting to develop, and it looks like little creatures living inside his arm. Massive hematomas forming on the forearm of Gimby where he's trying to catch those roundhouse kicks. Round two. Referee Go. Onari gets us back underway. Nice evasion. He leaned back like Fat Joe did Yodson Clay. Inside thigh kick from Gimby. And he's kicks the forearm again. That one to the humorous, but there was nothing funny about it. And here comes Gimby up for you the knees and the punches. Now he gets airborne. Toe to toe, they go now. Boom from Yodson Clay. Right hands from Yod. He covers up from the counter. And Yodson Clay smiling. 
enjoying himself inside the cage for the first time ever. Good counter from Yog. Fires the left cross. Gimby's been rocked. Here comes Yog Sinclair. A high knee. And Gimby fires back. Yog with a two punch combination. Another two punch combo. What are you seeing here, Brandon Vera? What I'm seeing is Gimby's got his lead foot on the inside of Yog Sinclair's every time. And when he's there, he's eating the one two right down the pipe and that left kick of Yog's. Yog Sinclair puts a standing count on Gimby. Referee Onari moved in. Gimby claiming he got punched in the eye, maybe. The referee puts the standing count on Gimby. Now remember, that will qualify as a knockdown. Three knockdowns in one round and the contest is over. That is the first count. Gimby's had a hard time clearing the vision on the left side. It looks like there's also some swelling. He, he might be claiming he got poked in the eye, and Yoda's kind of waving that off, saying he didn't do it. He may have punched into the eye, Mitch, which yeah. is perfectly legal. That you're supposed to do that. But Bring, ringside physician just taking a look at the eye here of Chris Gimby. Yodson play again, house on fire, but Gimby not afraid to stand and trade. Just amazing scenes, the power from both of these men, particularly from the great Yodson Clay. Fair checks wherever you're watching in 138 countries around the world and live on the One Super app. We hope you're enjoying this One Super Series kickboxing bout. Yeah, Michael, I don't think that was a poke to the eye. I think it was just, he got punched. The athlete is allowed three minutes for medical examination and recovery. If Gimby is unable to resume in the allotted time, an official decision will be given. Have a look at this now. That was a punch. Yeah, that was the one that did it. That was just a, a right jab right up the middle. Caught him on the eye. But the, the hand was closed. The hand was closed. Gimby's ready to go, though. Gimby is truly puts the warrior in African warrior. Great show of respect for both men here. Roundhouse kick from Gimby off the back leg, then goes to the inside thigh of Yod. That's more like it from Gimby. Now toe to toe again, and he forces Yod back. Big overhand right from the African. Stop! Break! Gimby not afraid to duke it out with Yod Sinclair. Yeah, but that's it. You're gonna have a hard time standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with this power Oh, he landed one there, though. Overhand right, hard kick from Gimby, upended himself. But we are seeing some flashes of brilliance now from Go. Chris Gimby. Yods and Clay, jab two. Step through knee, beautifully done. Got to throw the knees in the clinch here. The referee will break them. That's the kickboxing global rule set. Go. Good work there from referee Onari. Little uppercut on the inside from Gimby. Look at the trajectory of the knee. And again from Yodson Clay. Ties him up, locks him Make down. Up, Referee reaching. breaks them. Go! Five seconds of clinching is allowed, but you must continually throw the knees, or the referee will break you. Again, no knees thrown. Referee, good break. 25 seconds on the clock. Gimby with a front kick, a little too slow. Yodson Clay thought about the elbow, not permitted under these rules, though. Stop! Yodson Clay is just so tenacious, Go. so aggressive. Cracking roundhouse kick again. More kick than a chorus line on Yodson Clay Fairtex. Gimby swinging wildly. Stop. And we're going to go down to the third and final round. Okay, Mitch Chilson, play coach for a moment. First of all, if you're in Watson Clay's corner, what are you telling the boxing computer? He, the, the, key this round, the key this last round is going first. Whoever initiates the strikes first, they're the one that's coming out successful. Yotsin Kai's got to keep putting pressure on Gimby. He can't allow Gimby to start coming forward and start picking apart. But I also, I'd like to see Yotsin Kai change up, mix things up. He's only headhunting at this point. Attack the legs, attack the body. When Gimby covers up, go to the body with that left hook. Brandon, the truth, Vera, if you're in the corner of Chris Gimby, what are you telling Gimby to do? Keep your lead foot on the outside of Yotsun Clay, throw that straight right down the pipe, follow with the head kick, and then follow with the left Second kick. Outrage. It's a good call, Brandon. Public enemy number one of the southpaw is the straight right cross. But as the truth said truthfully, you've got to keep your lead foot on the outside of the southpaw's lead foot to enable that right hand. 
Here we go, third round. Gimby staring at Yodson play fair check. A capacity crowd here Final in Singapore. Round. Will we see a contender for the Go Daddy knockout of the night? Big round kick off the bow from Yod. Forces Gimby back. Yod ties him up, throws a knee. Good refereeing here Go. from Onari. Yodson guy winds it up again. Jab two to a hook from Yod. Eats a right hand from Gimby. Gimby's come agonizingly close on a number of occasions to landing that right hand. And again with the hook. Yod spins him around. No chance for the knees, though. Man, every shot Yod Sinclair throws, he's trying to end Gimby's night. Just so much power and force involved in the strikes of Yod Sinclair. Both men trading. Yod Sinclair upstairs with the kicks. Gimby goes to the inside thigh. Southpaws don't like the inside leg kicks. They are ripe open for Stop. them. That is against Break. an orthodox like Gimby. Go! Yodson Clyde choosing to wear the uh, Pratchett armbands around the biceps. Usually they are blessed by a Buddhist monk. All part of the Stop. superstition, the tradition of Muay Thai. Break. This one under kickboxing global Go. rule set, however. No use of the elbows for Yodson Clyde Fairtex and limited use of the knees. Evades the high kick from Gimby. Man, how tough is Chris Gimby? He's taken so many shots to that right arm. I can only imagine how sore his arm's gonna be. Because every time he connect, lands one, Brandon Vera's over here flinching. Every time, those results are gonna get bigger and bigger. I'm waiting for them to explode. Like gremlins. <laughs> Just don't feed those arms after midnight. Godson Black pops the uppercut. There's the stiff jab from the tie. It's also a credit to the defensive Yod and his head movement that Gimby's been on full extension on a lot of his punches, and Yod's has seen them fly by either side of his head from Ready. sheer evasion. Ready. Ready. The timing, the vision of Yod Sinclair, immaculate. Double left roundhouse kick, make it in triplicate. Jab from Yod, jab two. There's a knee from Gimby. Yod ties him up. They tango. Onari breaks them. 40 seconds remains in this contest. Evades the right hand is Yod. Counted with a jab. High knee from Gimby. Will we see the African get airborne again? They trade leg kicks now. Gimby goes for the in the final round. No knees in the clinch. About 20 seconds now. Can Gimby find something? The heavy artillery. Yod with the jab, the jab again. Stop. This has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. It's been something Go. epic. Seeing Yodson play Fairtex and Chris Gimby jump his knee. Gimby went for the Hail Mary, went for the meet and greet, didn't find it. Tried to the final bell. What a contest. This is one super series. Wow, what a tremendous Super Series bout between two absolute warriors. Yodzik Clyde just delivering the shot to the arm, but credit to Gimby, he never dropped his hands and allowed Yod to land that big head strike. He was trying to soften up the arms, and there's a tremendous exchange. Both athletes just putting everything on the line in the third and final round. Tremendous. After three rounds of action, packed martial arts excitement, Brandon Vera, how do you see it? I have this fight scored. Unanimous. We're going, I think we're going to Yodzik Clyde Fairtex. The, the technique that he was throwing was precise. It landed every single time, everywhere he wanted to put it. And Gimby stayed in front of him the whole time. He had some beautiful hair ma Hail Marys, but that's not enough to win you the whole fight. And when you're here, five feet away from the action, you can feel the power in those roundhouses of Yacht. Here's Dominic Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this bout in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. From the red corner, Yotsak Lai, I weigh Fairtex. Many in this crowd of thousands are on their feet giving it up to two tremendous martial arts warriors. But the night belongs to the hero, the boxing computer, Johnson by Fairchecks.